Welcome to the introduction to Media RTD. This video provides an overview and use cases of Media RTD and demonstrates the process for using it in a Content Studio presentation. Media RTD is an automation that replaces an alphanumeric value in a data field with a media item, such as a still image or video, that represents that data. Media RTD works by linking the data in a specific field with a graphic or video in a specific folder that uses that same name as the data it represents. Media RTD has two key use cases. The first is the ability to illustrate alphanumeric values such as timeouts left in football, team fouls in basketball, and ball, strike, or out count in baseball graphically rather than using traditional numbers. This allows for enhancing the graphic design of a display. This video includes a tutorial for this application. The second use case for Media RTD is to automate and streamline a workflow. An example of this is using Media RTD to display team logos on a game in progress graphic. A system with multiple displays that show multiple instances of a graphic that all include the team logos will see the value of this automation in that logos can be updated in numerous locations simultaneously with a single change of the teams in the AllSport console. For tutorials for this advanced operation, refer to the basic Media RTD video. To begin using Media RTD, place the pre-created media items in the Media RTD folder located within the content folder of the DMP8000. If subfolders are desired, additional configuration may be used as outlined in the basic media RTD video. Recommended file types are PNG for stills and MP4 for animations. It's also recommended to ensure all files are created in the same pixel dimensions to eliminate the items being resized when they change on the display. It's important that the file names of all Media RTD items match the data that is being sent. This example references the number of timeouts left in football. These data fields populate as 3, 2, 1, and 0, as shown in Data Monitor. The files representing each number of timeouts must be named accordingly. In Content Studio, choose the field from the Dynamic Data Library that will be represented by the Media RTD and place it in the correct location on the graphic. With the data field still highlighted, select the checkbox in the Field Properties tab labeled Is Media RTD. Browse to the location of the file and choose Open. Align and place the media in the proper location on the canvas. The bounding box may be used to resize the media, keeping in mind that all media items used resize according to the bounding box. Save and play the content. The DMP8000 plays the media item that correctly corresponds to the data based on the file name. Test by changing the data at its source. In this case, the AllSport operator entered a timeout for the guest team, changing the number of timeouts left from 3 to 2. This concludes the introduction to Media RTD. Continue to the basic Media RTD tutorial for further learning.